thanks for checking in. My name is Lucas and in this video I want to talk about this guitar that is really near and dear to my heart. First of all, sorry for the clickbaity title, that's usually not our style, but yeah, this guitar is very special to me and I just wanted to make a quick video about it and uh, film a little bit of the playing and yeah, basically give your first impression of this guitar. So what is this guitar? It's a Larive OM03 in rosewood, meaning the back and sides are solid rosewood, uh, spruce top, it has maple binding, ebony fingerboard, this is ebony as well, the headstock is ebony as well with the, they call it vine headstock. It has Larive branded tuners as well and they hold the tune perfectly, currently it's set up with 12 so light gauge strings. When I started playing guitar I started with an acoustic, uh, it was a rather uh, affordable one, a dreadnought body shape and yeah I was playing that a lot then I switched over to electric and played mainly electric guitar and the acoustic guitars I had were uh, covering dust pretty much especially the bigger bodies. I had a dreadnought that was the most expensive acoustic I had and I didn't really enjoy playing it mostly because of the body size and if I was grabbing an acoustic I was taking the Takamini New Yorker style, that's the parlor size, so pretty small one uh, in terms of body size and yeah I just didn't play the dreadnought I had as I mentioned and one day I was at my favorite local guitar shop, shout out to Artist Guitar and I was playing an Eastman OM and I enjoyed it a lot and yeah I told Adi once I can sell my dreadnought I will come pick it up just please put it aside for me and then yeah two two and a half weeks later I uh, sold the dreadnought and got to the shop and before that I already told him I'm not going I'm not just coming to pick it up I want to compare it to a couple of other guitars and yeah I played it I picked it up I still liked it a lot and then Adi showed me a different Eastman guitar that was if I remember correctly a double O guitar that has had a really nice feel and finish and I played that and it beat the other, uh, the, the OM I played before by a mile. <laughs> so then I was really gravitating towards towards the double O. Um, yeah, then I played a couple of Martin guitars that were a bit more expensive, but still, yeah, I would say on the more affordable side of Martin, made in uh, America guitars. Yeah, and I was really pretty convinced that I was gonna pick up the double O. And then he said, I got one more down, uh, I got one more down that's not even up in the shop yet. It just came in, it's brand new. Try that before you uh, leave with the Eastman. And that was this guitar. And we played, both Adi and I played it and compared it to the Eastman. And man, it just beat the Eastman even more. <laughs> we played the guitars side by side, we played it compared to other guitars and there was just no other way than going home with this one. It is pretty much flawless if, if you ask me. It's the fretwork, the overall build quality, they are, there's just nothing wrong with the guitar and on top of it all, what is most important, it sounds fantastic. I really love the sound of the body shape, the body size. It's an OM, meaning it has the full scale length and yeah, it's not too boomy, it's not as boomy as a dreadnought, but it still has enough bass compared to a double O or even a smaller size. So it's, for me, it's the perfect size.
I think I found my acoustic guitar for life and that's why the title was a little bit clickbaity. I cannot imagine selling this guitar. As long as I'm playing guitar, I will forever keep this one. It's just an amazing instrument. And if you have the chance, play a La Rive. We have some plans in the future as well. We will do an, a more in-depth review where Martin will play it as well, so the body review. And we will also do a comparison to Martin's Triple OM Eric Clapton signature guitar, which has the same body size but a shorter scale length. And it's even a higher level acoustic guitar because it retails nowadays for I think close to 5,000 euros or at least four and a half. So it's a different price level, but the woods used in the construction are similar. So that's why we want to do a comparison. Stay tuned for the future videos with this La Rive, with this beauty. And maybe we will also record an acoustic jam one day. <laughs> We've been planning, talking about it for quite some time now and yeah. Hopefully we will be able to do that soon. Yeah, if you have questions about this guitar, or just comments, if, leave them down below. And yeah, with that, see you in the next video. Bye.